Welcome to Beyond the Press channel. Hello. I'm Lauri. And I'm Anni. And today we are going to install this heat pump. Or not we, but the guys <laughs> from Lämpöykkönen. And this video is done in collaboration with Lämpöykkönen and Tosipa. And we are going to also do another video. This is like sensible installation video. And the second one is like bit more stupid and outrageous <laughs> experiment of type of video. Yeah. But today we are going to install this. And before this we had straight electricity heating solution, which is really expensive in Finland. Mm -hmm. So this should cut our electricity bill like probably more than half. And we can also keep the shop cooler on the summer. Yep, and I think the first step is to of course unbox this because YouTube and unboxing is like <laughs> bread and butter. <laughs> yep, and here we have Mr. Heat Pump Finland, Matti with us from Lämpöykkönen. Yes. <laughs> and Matti has actually whole YouTube channel dedicated for heat pump, so... Yes, we have lämpö, lämpötube. Yeah, which is like we heat, have started heat tube. Yes, exactly. It's, on, it's in Finnish, but it's like easy language to learn, so... Yeah, but, but maybe, maybe we can do it in English. Yeah, later. this video is going to be After in this video. <laughs> yeah. So we have like, this is not like your regular heat pump. It's, it seems to be a little bit bigger than your regular. This is about four times bigger than normal heat pump, at, if you have heat pump at home. So. Yeah, so this is, was it 11 kilowatts? Yes, 11 kilowatts. A normal heat pump is it's about two and a half kilowatts. Yeah. So this should be enough for the whole workshop. So we don't need any more those electric heaters after this. Yes. <laughs> That's good. Yes. And if you have been watching our videos, you maybe have recognized that it's a bit dirty here. So this is a spe special heat pump for dirty places. Yes. So the gaps between the is it, those are lamels? Lamels. Yeah. Yes. So the aluminium fins that transfer the heat. Those yes. are, there's a bit more room between each one. So this doesn't get blocked with the dust so easily. Exactly. If you try to put normal heat pump in this kind of places, it, it doesn't work more than one week. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> so this is better. Yeah. Anni, you are really good unboxer. Yeah, I'm professional unboxer. So this comes in and the bigger one goes out. Yes. So this takes the heat from outside air and this puts it inside. Yes. It works other way around here in Finland on your typical climate. It's that this takes the heat from inside and that pushes it out. Exactly. But it's it's another way around in Finland. Yeah. There isn't any like unbox. It's here. Yes. Ah. <laughs> Anni, you have the honors. Oh. You have to pull it in one hole. Oh. Was it satisfying? Yeah, really satisfying. Yeah, I think the unboxing is now done. Hey, Anni, is it already? Ready soon. Yeah, yeah. What you are doing? I'm, I, am, I don't know. I am really lucky that we don't have to do this. Yeah, it would take like three weeks from us. Yeah, yeah. Täällä olisi mustaa makkaraa nyt tarjolla meinaan. Tässä on sitten kaikki syöntä vähän niin lähellä. Tässä on virallinen suusi. Mutta on myös polkka. Tiedätkö Timo, mikä tässä on tärkeintä, mitä pitää seuraavaksi tehdä? No. Täältä nyt ihan ihan helvetinmoinen punkkeri, että sä et rukilla päin. Niin mä sanoin just, että mä teen siihen semmoista. 
että putki ei kun mihin tulee. Pitää painaa ainakin puolitoista tonnia. 220 voltin jännitys siinä. <laughs> joo joo. Mä ettei sulamista. And we are almost ready. It's been quite long day and I haven't seen Ann in a couple hours. I think she got enough from the heat pumps. But now we are ready to uh, suck all the air out from the system. You have to suck the air out with the vacuum, vacuum pump. So then when you put the like whatever you put there, it doesn't mix with the air and it works like best possible way. So now we are going to hook up vacuum pump and it's pretty similar that I use on videos. Maybe slightly smaller. They have like real vacuum measurement thing, not my one bar to zero bar like approximator. This me measures in microns, so it's much more accurate. It takes quite long time to suck everything out, but of course it's hard to suck vacuum because you have long thin tubes, pretty long distance, and lot of lot of volume there on the like inside unit. So it takes quite long time for all gas molecules to bounce around the tube all the way to the vacuum pump. Yep, so there it is, now it's working and we had the door open quite much on the like last couple hours, so it's really cold here, but I unplugged my old heater and let's see how, how warm it is here in morning. Yep, so now it's tomorrow morning and is it like minus 10? Maybe. Around that, so pretty goddamn cold. And here is the uh, outside unit. And I think it's a bit too cold for my thermal camera or something is wrong. It's hard to see. But if you stand here, go, go on it there. Ah! Ah, cold wind. Ah! Yeah, it feels much, much colder than like rest of the air. And inside here, it was really cold yesterday evening, but I unplugged the electric heater and it's pretty warm. Oh, and here is even warmer. It blows here. I, I film it with this. It's pretty hot. It's 55 degrees Celsius. Wow. And you can see, actually you, it's, you can see that the uh, top tube, or uh, no, that's like water tube, I check if I can spot the difference between the... Yeah, the tube that is like, the outer tube is hotter, it's like hard to say how much hotter, but it's hot. So the heat comes from the outer pipe, it goes there, air blows the heat into the building and then the cold stuff goes out and then the outer unit will put more heat to it. And it feels it feels like because it's so cold outside and that's still 55 degrees Celsius. It's like really amazing that it can actually suck heat out from that outside air, even with so cold. Uh, yes, and all that was actually about one month ago. So we have now one month of experience with the heat pump mm -hmm. and it has been working really well. Yeah. We haven't need the uh, old heater at all anymore. We can cross it. 
and I have already some data about the electricity use and how it changed. Yes, and here is the electric usage of the workshop. So here we can see the usage before the heat pump and here is after. And of course it changes a lot according what kind of weather is. Is it like really cold or cold and what we are doing with the machines. So it's like hard to say, but you can see quite clear trend here. And here is the yearly consumption. The this color is already like happened and gray is like forecast. And on March we have used this amount and we are still going to use this. So about four and a half thousand kilowatt hours. And last year we used seven thousand. 260 so that's almost 3000 kilowatts hours less and both March have been pretty cold but as I said I think we need longer measuring period to see the like real savings and I'm going to do update in after one year where I like break everything down and do the calculations how much money we have saved and if you have building in Finland that you are heating up with straight electricity heaters Lämpöykkönen has a monthly contract model where you don't have to invest at all your own money on the equipment you just pay monthly fee and that includes the machine installation and the, all the service and caretaking that the machine needs and for example, for this machine it would be 200 euros a month. So at least on this month we would already save it 100 euros after that. But as I said, it's too short period to make exact calculations. But I will do exact calculations after one year. But one thing is sure that you are going to cut your like... Uh, CO2 emissions quite a lot. Changing to heat pump on our workshop with your average CO2 emissions per kilowatt hour. We are going to save six tons of CO2 emissions per one year. And that's same amount of roughly 20,000 kilometer with car. So that's quite much also. And we are now waiting also that the summer comes and we can use the heat pump to cool down the workshop. Yeah, we can enjoy cool workshop yeah the last summer was really hot and it was really hot here and it's also good because if the workshop is like plus 35 it's too hot for exact measurements i'm not sure if that's enough to keep the whole shop down in 20 degrees celsius because it's more because it generates more power when you are heating up the workshop than cooling down. But I think and we can get pretty close at least. Yeah. Yeah, but that is all for today. Thanks for watching. And have a nice day.